Ooh, what's up guys, Skyrim here, and before I'm gonna showcase of course this video, I wanna leave a small disclaimer. These are, at this moment, unconfirmed Pokemons, but they are verified, very, very, very verified. And uh, if you don't wanna get yourself spoiled, don't look at this video. And uh, yeah, with all that said, we're gonna showcase of course what's been showcased in the trailer. And then we're gonna, of course, talk a bit about it, because these, these are some seven, seven new mods. That's, that's so cool, so let's do this. So, okay, that's all of them, and obviously the first one here is going to introduce is probably what I would consider, you know, the Pikachu Pokemon of Generation 7, or, you know, the mascot Pokemon of this generation. And if I have to take, you know, a proper guess, this is definitely going to be considered the type of move I was using, it was definitely not Electric Ball, or Electro Ball, but it's a feeling it's, this is going to be a ground type with, of course, Electric Typing, and, uh, you know, it, it's a Hedgehog, right? So, it, it kind of makes sense. Hell, you know, I love it. I love the concept. So, I really hope this guy gets some kind of evolution, or if it could stand on its own, but you know, the monster in Generation 3 with Minum and Plusle haven't been able to do that, hell, Asumer really didn't do it in Generation 5, so I feel like a 2 evolution line and a bit stronger would be lovely. If they solve that riddle, it's gonna be fun to use a Mask of Pokemon for once, because it's never been fun since actually Generation 1, and I think that's kinda shitty considering what kind of type of players most of us really are, but yeah, yay, new mon! This is probably and after this, we kind of get what I, I'm pretty sure, is um, the um, the larva bug uh, Pokemon. What's it called? Griffin or Griffon? And uh, it looks like it turns out to be an electric uh, bug, which is kind of nice. I was predicting electric ground, or possible electric uh, um, bug in my previous video when this mod was introduced. So it feels like that's exactly what's happening. Um, the yours is there, so I'm feeling this is this is kind of verified. And you know, it's nice to have another bug electric type. I was looking for a proper bug ground type, but as it stands, this is kind of nice anyway. And it looks like it could pop back to levitate. Um, if it turns out to be another uh, a bug, uh, or I mean, uh, electric uh, flying, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. But I'm pretty sure this is not it. And uh, it looks like it could be really, really speedy. And we need something like that, so good on you, Game Freak. This one is actually kind of cool, and it looks like a like a good line of Pokémon. So this is, I'm very glad to see this really. And this is followed up with, of course, the new Pokémon, which seems to be a Water Psychic type. I think that's it, and it was called Brixin or something like that, and has an ability which actually nullify priority moves, which could. Both be a good and a bad thing. It also means that, that Linoon can no longer belly drum sweep people, 
I feel that that's okay. I can I can live with that. But that's a definitely unique ability, so I don't mind it one bit. It also would mean that if it is a psychic type that is actually invulnerable to sucker punches. So that's kind of the first thing that hits me off. Like I said, I feel with the form and since you side move that it probably is a psychic type. And like the way it moves and how Game Freak have developed water types on land, they they're floating. They're they're swimming in land or on land or just they're floating. So I'm feeling this definitely is a war psychic type, and I'm looking forward to seeing more about this Pokemon because it feels very unique. It's a floating puff and it's so cute and I have nothing to say about it. It's flying. Her. And then we get to see this legendary mon and really Huh I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The thing is, if I have to take um good guess. It definitely feels like some kind of tribal mon, right? And uh, it feels like it should be at least a seal type to some extent. And uh, the move was using, we don't see any kind of, some kind of you know, resist sorry, <sighs> resist damage, which could possibly intend to that uh, its um, its synergy move is not um, at least something that resisted to fire types. But that's really all I could get. Like we don't really get to see too much more than this is one of the new legendaries and as far as the sign goes it's pretty darn simple but people have been suggesting that simple is good and for my case i actually kind of like it like i said a bit simple but i don't think that's a bad thing and these are followed up with of course probably one of the coolest thing this dragon type i i don't know what it is it got a mustache i, I feel that's so cool um it feels somewhat medieval and somewhere like Clado feeling on it. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. I love it. I, joining two multiple recorders. I'm actually really excited because I really love this design. I, I don't know what it wants to become, but it feels like a fully evolved Pokemon at, at the time being. It might actually be the set of legendary. We, we don't know about that. But being that the route that they took with Gudra, I do believe this kind of liberties would make sense. And uh, it still looks like a dragon. I really hope this is a first, uh, without a mega of course, the fairy dragon swiping. I feel that that would make sense. Uh, it's definitely one of those really, really good, like... Oh, I'll try to find the right word. This is how dragons looks like where I come from. Um, cartoony dragons. This is, this is one of those things. I feel... That would make so much sense to have some kind of fairy ass dragon. Um, so, as far as it goes, there are names out there right now, that are the Japanese names really. So, uh, I'm gonna leave them down below, of course, with the name of the call, but as far as we know, we know, we have no real name on these. But all I can say is that I am really excited about this. I'm really glad to see more Pokemon. You know, this is definitely happening. We're roughly five months away now. And yeah, <laughs> it's so liberating to see that this is gonna go down. I mean, we are going to get heavily spoiled throughout this or these months. That's that's for sure. Like we are not gonna take the one away. Me as a PokeTuber really want to showcase these as much as I can, wherever chance I get. But you know what? This is so cool. Like I'm. Yes, is all I can say. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy these, and if you want to see more stuff like these in the near future, you know, I'll always be on the lookout for leaks. Hopefully they are at least as good as these ones, because this, this, this is something, this is something else, and I'm so happy. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and i see you in the next video. Until then, take care. <gasps> Enjoy some more, yay! <laughs> Bye.